10 people caught by Border Patrol trafficking it, or by, excuse me, by Customs and Border Protection trafficking it and Border Patrol are lawful U.S. residents. So I'll say that again. More than nine out of 10 people caught are lawful U.S. residents. I was just in the El Paso sector last week with Border Patrol, and they confirmed this number because people driving narcotics across the border are citizens with passports who can get past the checkpoints. So the people trafficking fentanyl on the border are U.S. citizens. The people suffering and dying from overdoses in our communities are U.S. citizens. So why on earth are we talking about immigrants today? Because Republicans in this Congress want to drum up fear about poor people who are fleeing to this country and distract from the real issues of mental health, overdoses, and poverty. If we actually want to take on fentanyl overdoses, then let's call a hearing on successful addiction treatment programs. Let's call a hearing where we treat the opioid crisis as what it is, a public health emergency. We could have our first bipartisan and fully functional hearing on Cong in, con in Congress here if we did that. But instead, we are hearing members on this committee calling refugees and asylees, quote, an invasion, and warning that immigrants coming here are President Biden trying to, quote, change our culture. The failed drug war, plus failed anti-immigrant policies that close any legal pathway to immigration, creates the underground market for cartels and criminal groups in the first place. You're not helping beat the cartels, you're setting up the market for them. You're not helping keep migrants safe, we're pushing folks to go have to work with criminal organizations to get here because there is no other legal pathway. No one should have to pay smugglers and brave the jungle and the desert and nights on top of a train to save their family. No one should have to sleep on the streets or risk violence, including sexual assault. In San Antonio last summer, I represent San Antonio and Austin, Texas, there were 53 people found dead in the back of a tractor trailer who were trying to come here for a better life. They should have just been able to apply and come here in an orderly and legal manner, but instead grandmothers, mothers, fathers, kids as young as 13 years old were scorched to death in the heat and killed. If we want to help those folks, then we need comprehensive immigration reform. If we want to address the fentanyl crisis, then let's talk about helping our communities deal with addiction, mental health, poverty, income inequality, and instability. Let's have hearings on that. Let's have oversight about that. But let's not participate in this sham that tries to blame those problems on the poorest among us. Because we have seen that all too often in this building, and we're going to push back on that. Thank you. I yield back my time. Chair recognizes Mr. Perry for five minutes. Thank the chairman, and thank Chief Maudlin, Chief Chavez.